Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Last week, I did a video on how to add lights to a spaceship model. And this week, I'm going to use the exact same technique, but I'm going to add engine glows to a spaceship instead. All right, so last week, I added these lights on here. I'm just going to turn those off. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my models folder where I have already brought in an X-Wing. And this is the X-Wing, which you can get from Video Copilot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that into the um, composite shot. And opening up, I will transform from my point that I had created last week. And so now if I scrub through, you can see how that is rotating with the point. And you can see here are the engines, and those are where I want to place those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to four different views. And one of them will be a left view. One of them is the active camera. One of them will be a top view. And I'm just going to use a back view so that I can specifically zero in on that. And the first thing that I want to do is this X-Wing, just like I did last week, I'm going to right click on it and say duplicate. And then I'm going to change this to be called engines. And just like last week, I'm going to open up the properties by clicking on the cog. And there's only one diffusion map. So it's not like there's a uh, engines uh, material here. It's only one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the whole thing black and click OK. And then I will drag this in above the X-Wing model. And now it is occluding the whole model out. OK, uh, just like it did last week when I did this with the Enterprise. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and attach that to the new point. Uh, and then just like I did last week also, I'm going to right click and blend mode of Add. So now it's just adding itself in. And since it's all black, there is nothing to be adding. But now this is a separate layer in the stack. And so I can take something else. And that is the cylinder object. So I'm just going to open it up and show you that it is a basic cylinder that I made in Blender. Um, and I will leave a link in the description to this exact model if you would like to download it. You can see that everything is bla bla blazing white here, okay? And what I will do is I will drop this into the engine's layer itself. You can see how big it is. Um, and I will open it up. And the first thing that I want to do is transform it from the point so that it moves along with everything else. And the... Then I want to scale it way down so it's teeny tiny. Uh, and I want to move it. I want to move it back behind the, the model here. I will rotate it 90 degrees on its x-axis. And I'm just going to put it behind here. Let me go ahead and knock it down a little bit more. Maybe about that big will be good. And I'm just going to place this, zooming in here. I'm just going to place this inside the engine well itself. All right. And then if I come in here a little bit, you can see where it's at. I'm just going to start pushing it back until it is ooh, about right there. Okay. All right. I'm going to say that that looks pretty good. Okay. So that's engine number one, right? And so now if I uh, were to take that cylinder and highlight it and just control D to duplicate it, opening up the position point and change the sign to positive, it's going to be over here. Uh, then if I were to duplicate that a third time, uh, then I can go ahead and put it down in that one. And then if I did it one more time, I can go ahead and Put it over there. All right, so now you can see that I have each of those engines in the four wells. So there are four engines and four engine wells. And so now if I were to rotate this, you will see that the engines are clearly here in this. 
and we'll go back to a single view. You can see there they are, right? But they are all, and they are occluding themselves. So if I turn off the X-Wing for a second, you can see that they are perfectly occluded, just like in the video that I did last week. And so now I can add my effects and I can do my things. The first thing I might say is, well, I don't really want them to be white. All right, well, that's fine. I'll just go into the engine model itself and opening this up, I think I will just go ahead and make them orange. Okay, but I can make them any color that I want and everything about it will be orange. Clicking OK, now you can see they are of a different color. Okay, remember that I want those to not be affected by the lights. So I will open this up under materials and tick off illuminated. Now they are genuinely orange. And now I can start adding effects. So uh, just like last week, I added a glow effect to the um, engine. So let's add a glow effect. Let me use the controls tab and I will just up the intensity of this a bit. And that actually looks pretty good. Let's duplicate that. And now I'll bring down the intensity and maybe up the scale or the radius, I mean. And then and maybe just a little bit of a less intensity here. Okay. And then I will duplicate it one more time. And this is the old triple glow. We'll bring this down a little bit more, maybe increase that somewhat. So you can see the effect that the glow is having on those right and as it passes there you go and then i can add um a auto light flare again right auto light flares uh which will allow those to interact with the lens itself so let me open this up and make the maximum flares 100 uh, and then what i will do is is i will start bringing the threshold down you can see that that's really affecting that and I'm going to go ahead and bring the intensity down so that it's there, but it's not too much. Uh, and I do want to change the color and make it orange, just like the engines themselves. Um, yeah, let me up that just a little bit. Actually, let me let me bring the threshold down maybe just slightly. There. See how that has you know those engines are actually creating these lens flares on there oh that looks so nice so i'm using the exact same technique that i used last week but i'm instead adding new um model or meshes into the um occluded engines model layer so that i can have those light up instead of using built-in um, materials in a model i am using materials that i am essentially building into the model to be used in uh, your shot so if you have any questions leave them in the comments below please do me a favor like this video uh, subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon for notification and as always thanks for watching